Hello everyone, this is one of a series of videos on understanding waves and we're going to look at amplitude, frequency and wavelength and talk about what these things actually refer to. Now I want you to imagine that we have an oscilloscope set up. An oscilloscope is a machine that enables us essentially to represent longitudinal uh, waves on a screen, a bit like a transverse wave. So I want you to imagine that we have just, I'm just going to draw a very basic waveform using the uh, graph paper as a guide. Now let's say that we have on the oscilloscope a wave that looks a bit like this. Just got a basic waveform. What I want to do is really talk about frequency, wavelength, amplitude in relation to this and then we'll talk about the wave equation. So let's think about what we actually mean by these key terms. Now as waves travel they set up patterns of what's called disturbance and the amplitude of a wave is the maximum disturbance from its undisturbed position. Now the undisturbed position would be the central point here. So this point of the graph from the centre to the top of a wave or equally from the centre to the bottom of a wave that is what we call the amplitude. So the amplitude shows the height of a wave if you like. It's not the distance from the top of one so where I put a number one here to where I've put a number two. It's not the distance between one and two. It's from one to the central line or two from the central line. That is the amplitude. Now the amplitude in, in generic terms essentially refers to the loudness of a wave. If we think about uh, a musical instrument, that's going to be our kind of theme for this video. Think about a musical instrument. The amplitude would represent the loudness of that sound wave that we get produced. So the bigger the amplitude, the bigger the volume. So amplitude, and I'll just make a note next here, amplitude relates to the volume. Now wavelength, wavelength is the distance from one point on a wave to the same point on the next wave. It's usually easier to think from one crest to another or from one trough to another. So for example, from this point here to this point here that would represent our wavelength and also just draw another line from here to here so same thing that would be a, a wavelength now if we just think about some units for this the wavelength would be measured in meters So just make a note of that. Wavelength is measured in meters and it's the distance between one point on a wave and the equivalent point on the next wave. Now the final thing to put into here is the frequency and I've left this to last because the frequency really refers to things about the pitch. Now the frequency is described as the number of waves that are produced by a source each second but that is also the same as saying number of waves that pass a certain point each second. If we were to say for example if we were to put a, a time if we were to say this is time on this scale here and this would be our one second point then we have one wave, one full wave, as in up, down, in fact if I just use this highlight, so this here, up, down past the disturbed position to the bottom, and then back again, all of that is one wave and we've got that in a time period of one second. Then that's what frequency looks like, it's the number of waves that pass a point each second, so in this case it would be one, and frequency is measured in hertz. So we'll just put that a note here, so frequency is 
is the number of waves produced. So the number of waves produced or the number of waves that pass a point. Same thing, number of waves produced each second. And that is our frequency. Now that one is measured in hertz. Now the unit frequency there is hertz, or sometimes abbreviated to capital H, lowercase z. It's common for kilohertz, megahertz, and gigahertz to be used when waves have very high frequencies. For example, most people cannot hear a high-pitched sound above 20 kilohertz, and radio stations broadcast radio waves with frequencies of about 100 megahertz. Now, let's just think about how frequency relates to pitch, because I said um, that the two go hand in hand. The higher the frequency, so the more waves that pass a point a second, the higher the, the pitch would be. And the lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. So just make a little note of that there. So the higher the frequency, increase the frequency. What we'd get is an increase in the pitch of the sound that is made and vice versa if the frequency goes down the pitch would go down and you can see hopefully how the two relate that if there are waves if there are more waves that pass a point or are produced each second and the frequency goes up that would then mean that the wavelength essentially would go down the distance between those two points on the wavelength would be shorter because the waves would be closer together if the frequency were greater so now let's consider how we can link all of these in one equation and the, the equation that we're after is something called the wave equation. So we'll just put this at the top here. The wave equation. Now the wave equation relates the wave speed, the frequency and the wavelength. The wave equation says that V is equal to F Turn that into an arrow just to make it a bit clearer. So V is equal to F lambda. Now lambda, lambda is the Greek symbol for wavelength here. So V is equal to F lambda. We're saying that V is our wave speed. F is our frequency. And lambda is our wavelength and if we think of what units we would have for this for our wave equation well frequency is in hertz as I've said wavelength is in meters and wave speed usually would be in meters per second and we use the symbols V F and lambda to represent these three components of this equation so V equals F times lambda or wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. And you can manipulate that equation, essentially, to calculate a frequency on its own. So that would be wave speed divided by wavelength. Or you can get the wavelength on its own by doing wave speed divided by frequency. So there we have just a little bit about amplitude, frequency, and wavelength. Amplitude refers to the height of the wave and relates to how loud the sound is. The higher the, wave, the, higher the amplitude, the higher the loudness, or the greater the uh, the loudness value that would be. Wavelength is the distance from one point on a wave to the equivalent point on the next wave. That's measured in meters. And the frequency is the number of waves produced each second, or the number of waves that pass a particular point each second is measured in hertz and relates to pitch in that the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch of the sound. And finally, we've just mentioned the wave equation, V equals F lambda, as a way to link these three key components, the amplitude, the frequency, and the wavelength. Okay, hope all that helps.